hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to do a problem that compares what's called a perfectly competitive firm with an imperfectly competitive firm. So perfect competition, all the products are the same. They have to sell at the same price or the consumer won't buy it because the consumer could just go to the next firm that's selling exactly the same thing. So price is going to be 12 in that case. Over here, uh, imperfectly competitive firms, what we're really describing is a firm that has some kind of monopoly power firm can uh, change their price and not lose all their customers or um, vice versa. They might just be the only firm there and uh, therefore they get to pick a price. So go through this pretty quickly. So total revenue is price times quantity. So this is going to be zero. Thought I set that smaller earlier. I guess I didn't. Just one more. There we go. So that's zero. Um, price times quantity is 12. And then 2 times is 24. 36. And 48. 60. And 72. Okay, marginal revenue. So it's just the case, it's the difference in total revenue divided by the difference in quantity, which in this case is one. So you can see that the total revenue is going up by 12 as we sell um, one more unit of each of these uh, products. So we're just going to put 12, 12, 12, 12. And that is the case under perfect competition that price is going to equal marginal revenue. That's just the thing you can remember. Imperfectly competitive firms would be a little different. So we uh, we have total revenue. If price is 20. We're selling zero units. Zero. Uh, price is 18. We're selling one unit. It's 18. Oops, I missed. Give me a lot of room here. This table. Okay, price is uh, 16. Sell two units, that's 32. Three, oh, I'm going to have to get a calculator. Three times 14. And, oh, let's do the one I know down here is 36. Skip ahead. This is 50. And this is 48. Get a couple calculators here. Go. Let's see. 14 times 3, 42. Tells me that 36 is not right. Thou shalt not do. Let's, uh, that's because it's 48. Okay. So now we've filled in all of that. And we want marginal revenue. So just like over here, it's going to be the difference in total revenue divided by the difference in quantity. So this is 18. And this is uh, 32 minus 16. Or you could say, what do I have to add to, to I'm sorry, to 18. 32 minus 18, uh, the difference is 14. The difference is 10. The difference is 6. 2. And negative 2, and that totally happens. Okay, so now we've filled in both of these. Use the tables above, explain why the perfectly competitive firm is a price taker. And the so you could say that the perfectly competitive firm uh, always has to charge the same price, and we see that there. You could also say that uh, the price making ability, the imperfectly competitive firm gets to choose whatever their price is, that will dictate quantity, and then that'll dictate their marginal revenue. Uh, what output would the perfectly competitive firm uh, produce? So let's fill in the marginal cost column here. So marginal cost is the difference in total cost divided by the difference in quantity, which in this case is one. So I'll just fill this in really quick. It's five, it's three, it's uh, six, it's 10, 16, and 22. And then our average total cost is just total cost divided by quantity. So uh, 15 divided by one is 15. This is nine, this is eight. Uh, 
So this is around 8. Uh, so 34 divided by 4, 8.5 or 850. That's not a very good 5. And then that's 10. And that's, I should know that, and I don't. It's 12. Use calculator, you don't have to worry about quickly making any mistakes. All right, now we filled in marginal cost. So uh, perfectly competitive is going to produce to where the price, which is equal to marginal revenue, equals marginal cost. So remember, it's 12. So we're going to produce up to 4. So 4 would be the answer. You got a couple options. You could say, all right, so I'm going to produce as long as marginal revenue, which is 12, is higher than marginal cost. So I'm going to produce that one, that one, that one, and that one, and not that one. So that's that's why the answer is 4. Or you just skip to, you know it's 12, so just skip to the last unit where marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost because you wouldn't produce the fifth unit. Uh, next one, how much profit would a perfectly competitive firm? Okay, so we're just going to compare. Uh, we're just going to compare total revenue uh, when we produce 4, which is 48, and then 34, so it would be positive 12. So the showing your work part would just be 48 minus 34, and that would be 12. How much output would the imperfectly competitive firm? So we're going to look at marginal revenue again. And so the first unit is 18 comparing 5. Second one is 14 comparing 3. Third one is 10 comparing 6, and 4 comparing, uh, or rather, 6 is less than 10. So we're actually only going to produce 3. So for the uh, imperfectly competitive firm, let me show you a little more specifically what I'm talking about. Um, so the first one, I want to produce the first one because 18 is higher than 5. The next one I want to produce is 14 is, is higher than 3. The next one, 10 is higher than 6. But this this fourth one, 6 is less than 10. So I don't want that one, that one, that one. And I'm never going to choose that one because I don't want negative marginal revenue. How much profit would it imperfectly... Okay, so we're just going to compare total revenue when we produce 3, which is 42. Uh, and 42... It's uh, 18. Looks like 18. I would get, yeah, 18. So, and the way to do that would be 42 minus 24. And would the perfectly competitive market or the imperfectly competitive market have greater increase or decrease, or in, oh, sorry, greater increase in the number of firms in the long run? Explain. Okay, well, what it's talking about is it says, is that we have this idea that in the long run, uh, the price is going to equal average total costs minimum, which also happens where marginal cost equals average total cost minimum. So let's see, what's the minimum average total cost? Minimum average total cost would be 8. Okay, so that would be 3. So in a imperfectly competitive firm, uh, Price is eight. I don't see really any incentive for the um, for the imperfectly competitive firms to join this market. Uh, but over here, they are making a profit. So let's see. Where would average total cost minimum to join would be here? Um, we would say we would say that that is a a perfectly competitive market because they're making a profit new firms are going to see that and they're going to want to uh, in, increase um, in, enter the market because they can make more units the the equilibrium there is is four um, and we could also say that maybe that six would be producing they'd want to produce those six units those extra three units uh, to wipe out the profits there. So it all depends on what the other firms are, are looking for. It's a kind of an interesting question, but uh, it would be the perfectly competitive market there.